Ever wanted to build one of these in your Minecraft world? Well, today you'll find out how. I'm Engineer627 from Black Star Studios, and let's get started. So before we begin, I just want to ask you to please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe whenever you want. And so with that out of the way, let's begin. All right, so let's look at the materials on how to build it. So we're actually going to need all these materials. So let's just go ahead and grab these materials here. And this is a working garage door, if you haven't already um, seen that by the title of the video. And how it works is basically we're going to choose a key for this lock. So this chest right here is practically the lock. So if you wanted to put a little sign right here saying, lock or whatever um you can do that i just didn't do that but basically when we put this helmet in it's going to sense it and it's going to go ahead and open this garage door and then as soon as you take out the helmet it will immediately close and the animation is really nice so here let me show it to you I'm gonna go up and as you can see uh the garage door opens and it's very very simple of course you don't have to make it out of iron um but um yeah, I just think it really, really looked well, especially with the actual um, garage door pieces. So then when you take the, ch the helmet back out, you can see that it is now slowly closing. So let's look at all the material. So first you're gonna need block of iron. Of course you can uh, use whatever block you would like, depending on if you wanna add this to your house or not. Um, you can use whatever block you want. Glowstone, that's just to light up in the inside. You don't, again, you don't need to use that. You can use sea lantern, you can use torches, uh, really whatever. Um, Next, stone bricks. You don't need to use this either. You can use cobblestone or something else. This is just for the road and for the inside. Uh, grass block. This is just to cover up the command block after we go ahead and break it. Uh, the ground. We're going to need a redstone comparator. We're going to need smooth stone slab for the garage door. And the reason why I chose this is because when you stack them, they don't turn into one solid block. Well, they do, but they don't look like it. So they have little um, lines in the middle, which I think re really look nice. Uh, we're going to need, of course, command block, we're going to need repeater, and you're going to need a, some type of key. I, again, I use the golden helmet because it's like a golden coin or a golden key, whatever. You can use any any type of block that you would like. All right, so let's begin. So let's go ahead and fly over somewhere. I'm just going to go ahead and fly over here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to simply build out your actual frame a few moments later okay so now that we've built that it is 10 long and eight wide and four high so as we can see we add some glowstone again you don't need to do this uh, i just decided to do that and we added some of the stone bricks uh down into the ground the next thing i want to do is i'm just going to go ahead and do this i'm going to go ahead and place another iron brick right here or block and then we're just going to go ahead and place that chest just like that just so you can go ahead and open it okay so now we have that now we can go ahead and come down here and break a ways again i don't have memorized how long it is just just go ahead and break a type of ditch just like this all right so now, now let's start with the command blocks so i'm just going to go ahead and put a command block down there and a command block right here and in this command block I'm going to type, and just to let you know the commands will be in the description of this video, we're going to type in slash execute. So x slash execute if block, or you can spell block correctly, block, squiggly, squiggly, two, squiggly, because it's two blocks, the chest is two blocks above the command block, and then we're going to do space, and we're going to do chest, and then we're going to add a squiggly bracket, and then we're going to type in items and then we're going to add colon and then bracket and then another squiggly bracket and then id colon and then a quotation mark and then minecraft golden helmet quotation mark squiggly bracket this and then another squiggly bracket and now we can see that it is correct so you know you can add whatever you want here you can add 
cobblestone or whatever. You can add whatever you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and make it golden. Helmets. If I can spell. Alright, so just like this. And then we can just go ahead and hit uh, repeat and always active and hit done. And now we can add the comparator right there. And now if we go ahead and add the golden helmet in, as we can see the comparator turns on, which means our contraption is working. Alright, then in this command block right here, we're going to type in this, um, a different command. Again, commands will be in the description. We're going to do slash execute. Unless block space. And we're going to go and put the coordinates of the chest. So we're going to go and get the coordinates of the chest. And we're going to get the coordinates of the chest, which is 327, 449. 327, 449. All right. And then we're going to type in chest again. And we're going to go and add that curly bracket again. Items and uh, the colon again, normal bracket, squiggly bracket, curly bracket, whatever you want to call it, and then ID colon um, the quotations, and then Minecraft colon golden helmet. And then again, you would substitute the golden underscore helmet for whatever other block or item that you want it to be so it can be whatever you want it to be so now uh, we're going to change it to repeat and always active once again and then we're going to go and add another comparator right here as you can see it's on because we don't have the golden helmet in but now we put the golden helmet in the comparator turns off okay so now that's all working phenomenally all right so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to clone this second part so basically we're going to go ahead and put our garage door in the second part i just think that look better than just having it straight in the front. I just thought that having it right here is gonna be better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clone it. So we're gonna go ahead and get the coordinate and we need to get the bottom part. So we're gonna go ahead and get this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a mod for this. So um, if you do not have this mod, I recommend getting this. It is the world edit mod and it works really, really well. Um, again, you can do this yourself uh, with just cloning command, but you know, this is way, way easier and simpler. So I'm just gonna go and do it. And we're gonna just wanna go ahead and copy it. And I'm gonna copy it um, via here. So if you don't already know how to use uh, World Edit, you can just find a tutorial. So we're gonna do slash slash copy. Again, you would do clone, get the commands. This. And all the red lines and stuff, just so you know, uh, is another mod. I'm going to have it linked in the description. Also, both of the mods. And we're just going to go a bit far away, and then we're just going to paste it. So via it, so we stand right here, the door will actually paste this way. So I'm just going to T slash slash paste, and there we have our door. And now we're just going to go ahead and paste this a couple times. Okay, so now that we have all of our doors pasted, you're going to need a total of six of them or cloned or whatever you did pasted or cloned or whatever and we're just going to go ahead and make them our garage door so if you haven't already seen an animation it's basically pictures um all formed together to make one animation so it's basically cutting it together and different pictures so we're going to go and do that this is also the reason why i decided to use slabs so we're just going to go ahead and fill all of this in and then i'll see you after i've done it all right so now you can see uh, that this is going to be the closed garage door and then in this next one we're basically just going to make it a slight by one slab open so i'll be back with you once this is done all right so now we can see that we just did it by one slab so as you can see right here um and you're going to want to do that all the way down and you should be left with only one slab on the top so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll meet back with you once i'm done okay so now we can see that we are done so it goes from closed to slightly open to a bit more open to a bit more, a bit more, and then fully open. Of course, if you really wanted to, you can make it seven and just have that off. But I just like showing that the garage door is still tis there. So I just kept, them, kept it like that. Okay, so now we have this. Now the next step is to clone each one of these back to over there. So we're going to go ahead and get each coordinate 
of each one of these and we're gonna want to then paste it or clone it back over there. So the way I get the coordinate is simply just stand down here, get the coordinate and then get up here and then get the coordinate from up here because it's okay if you get a bit of air, that's fine. There's nothing on top of that. So uh, we can get this coordinate and then I recommend writing this down or taking a picture or something. And I'm gonna do it for every single one of these and I'll be right back and I'm done. All right guys, so now I have all of the garage door coordinates done, all written down. And I forgot to mention also that your garage doors need to be facing the same way as your garage is facing. So as you can see, my garage is facing the sun, which means your gar garage doors that are gonna be cloned need to be facing the sun also, or they will be cloned uh, the opposite way and it'll be a big giant mess or your garage will be uh, in this wall and that's not what you want. So just be aware of that. Okay, so now we got all the coordinates and now what we're gonna need to do is we need to clone each individual garage door right here so we can get it um, in here so that it'll be opening and closing right here. And this will be the coordinate we're gonna do. So let's go and do that now. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take your command block and we're just gonna go ahead and place plentiful. So I'm just gonna go and place them down just like this. And we're gonna take our repeaters and then, you know, place them down. I'm gonna turn them on full, on full. So basically just tap uh, them on full uh, waiting time, is it? I'm not sure what it is. It's, you know, full, it gives it a break. It gives a pause in between each command or filling. So let's go ahead and get this coordinate right here. I like crouching right here in the middle of the block. And so it's 329, 3, and 48. So now we have that coordinate. So now we can go ahead and we can place the grass back there. And now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna come into here. We're gonna go ahead and clone it. So we're gonna do slash clone. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna want to clone the first one, which was the closed one. So we're gonna do 358, 387, and 358, 8, and 95. Of course, the coordinates will be different for you. And then we're gonna do 329, 3, and 48. All right, so now if we go ahead and turn this off, um, of course, now if we go ahead and put this in, you can see now that the closed garage door is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, all of the coordinates um, into all these command blocks and I'll see you after I am done with that. All right, so now we have each and every one of these commands in and you should have a total of six command blocks besides the repeating one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, uh, for each one. All right, so now, if we go ahead and put in the uh, helmet, we can see now that the garage door opens like it's supposed to. But now if we go ahead and take it out, as we can see, it stays open. So now we have to do the closing animation. And by the way, if now if you put the um, item that you had into the repeating, um, into the chest, it should open as it does with me. Uh, just, you know, put in the one, put in the item that you put into the repeating. So hence I had the Golden helmet, you're gonna want whatever item you had. So next we're gonna do is we're going to put six command blocks as we did um, on the other side, just like this. And we're gonna take the repeaters and we're gonna put it exactly like we had it on the other side. So full, full, uh, full break or yeah, just full open right there. Place a grass block here. And we can. And now I recommend having this open. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna go ahead and keep the helmet in just so that uh, this doesn't happen right here. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the last command from the opening animation to the first command in the closing. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the last, last command block of the opening animation. And we're gonna go ahead and copy 
that one and we're going to come to the beginning and we're going to go ahead and paste it we're going to hit done and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here we're going to go ahead and copy from the second to last and we're going to copy it into the second one of the closing animation and we're going to continue to do that until we have each and every one done so again into here into the third one So this will be the third one, fourth one, shift, copy, fourth one, and then to the fifth one, copy it, fifth one, it's okay, and then we're going to go and get the last one. and paste it into the last command block. So don't do that. All right, there we go. And now we can go ahead and cover all this. Just like that. And I recommend coming and covering all of these because it will be leaving a gap in your, on the side of your garage door. So I recommend just going do that there. I'm just going and filling all of these gaps, just like that. And now if we go back to our garage, you can now see that the hole is still there. But now if we go ahead and take the golden helmet out, we can see the garage door closes successfully. And as you can see, the hole is gone. So we can go and put this back in and it'll open successfully. And then again, we can go ahead and close it. Opening and closing, opening and closing. And you can add anything you want. You can add some shrubs, you can add, you know, on the side of your house, you can add a wall, uh, it could be like a secret base underground, it could be whatever you want it to be. This is just, this just opens so many opportunities for everything. Okay, before ending the video, I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to my first subscriber, Mr. Noodles1234. If you want to win a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe and then type slash subscribed in the comments. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any new videos that I make. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, again, hit the subscribe button. Can't say it enough. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.